Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, let's jump right back in, shall we? <clears throat> I really feel like this is going to turn into an old nighter. Well, I think it's good or it's good to have a change of pace once in a while and let loose with your girlfriends. Yee. Same if you're with if you're a guy and you have guy friends. Don't be afraid to go hang out with your guy friends. That's awesome. August fifteenth. Wait. R really? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, manager. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Ah, are you up? Oh, perfect timing. The manager said okay. Sawa, she fell asleep. She didn't even hear what the plan was. Oh, uh, right. Well, you see, we were planning to go or to have that employee summer outing tomorrow. The one Mine thought of before. <laughs> it's at a pool. A heated pool. We really actually wanted to go to the beach, though. Yeah, but it's a little too cold to go swimming at the beach. Hmm, a pool, huh? Anyway, Sawa was planning for us to see a different side of everyone that we don't normally see. And at the same time, check out some hot guys. Uh, Mine just called it an employee event so we could invite the manager too. It's a perfect plan! So, now that you know, you should go ahead and invite Kent. Wait, they said what? Kent doesn't even have anything to do with work stuff. Uh, we could just, or we could leave the cafe to Toma. He'll manage it just fine. All that's left to do is invite Shin. Uh, yup, I'll send him a message. Huh, Shin? I feel like we've heard that name a, a number of times, but we've never actually met anyone by that name. He must work at the same place since his name's coming up now. He might just work on days that you don't have shifts. Wow, I'm getting kind of nervous. It's been a while since we met someone new. We can't mess up. We need to get through it. Oh, what's wrong? You should send message or you should send Kent a message and ask if he's free. Uh, okay, I'll try. All right. Would you like to go to the pool with everyone tomorrow? And sent. Hello. A pool? Where did that idea come from? Not that I mind at all, but... So, should I wear a swimsuit? Heck yeah, you should. Should I wear a swimsuit? Uh, Ken's hopeless. He seems overwhelmed just thinking about it. It's not like we're in middle school. Uh, did Ken say okay? I know he's busy, but that's nice of him. I got a reply from Shin. He says he'll go. Alright, he fell for it. We'll go to the pool tomorrow. Yay, the pool! Oh, do you two have swimsuits? I was thinking of getting a new one. Do you want to go buy them together? Oh, I'll go. I only have a racing swimsuit. So uh, at this rate, you'll never get a boyfriend. Oh, be quiet. That's why I'm trying to change things now. Huh, I hope someone tries to pick me up at the pool. That attitude is no good. You need to take the initiative and approach guys yourself. Oh wait, seriously? I'm serious, and that's why we need to go buy bikinis to show off. Uh, let's put on makeup and go, you too, Elizabeth. Wait, we're going? Hmm, well, I guess we'll just go along with them today. And if possible, we need to find out more about Shin. Oh boy. Huh, rabble, rabble. 
Well, this noise has destroyed my brain. Huh? I was about to go unconscious. Wow, they aren't kidding when they say a group of three girls gets rowdy. You're pretty quiet, though, so it's not too bad. That wasn't a very good source of new information. You did manage to buy a swimsuit, so it was kind of productive. I wonder if this is really okay. It's already August 15th. Wait, it's already August 15th? Then there are only 10 days left until Ken's conference. And, or, and he's going to England after that, right? Doesn't that mean you only have 10 days left to talk to Kent? And three of those are work days. This is bad. We don't have time to relax. I wonder what you thought of Kent studying abroad before you lost your memories. If you really wanted to stop him, you wouldn't be playing around. You need to talk to Kent more. All I was thinking was that it would be fine if you just regained your memories, but maybe all of this has just been robbing you of the precious time you have with, or have left with him. It's possible that because you don't have your memories, something will happen that can't be undone. I'm sorry. I'll work harder so you can get your memories back faster. Thanks, Orion. You're sweet. August 16th. Okay, looks like everyone's here. Let's all go to the pool. I heard this was a gathering for people working at Meido no Hitsuchi, so I thought I was obliged to come. Or, not obliged, obligated. <laughs> oh, 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 so we've never seen him before. Maybe he should. He's got a harsh air around him. I wonder how close you two were. Uh, yeah, it's an informational gathering for Meido no Hitsuchi, just like I told you. Then why isn't Toma here? He's the one who works the most. If Toma came, who would look after the cafe? I don't know, maybe the manager? But the manager definitely has to come. This is a gathering for the manager and his employees. What? Was that really why we're here? Did you, he uh, did you hear about this manager? I'd be happy if you could affirm or deny this. And that was a yes. How do you know? How do you not understand? You really need to get to know him better. Toma already understands the manager perfectly, so he's fine. Fine, not like I mind. Then, who's this big guy? I've never met him before. He's Elizabeth's boyfriend. What? What's her boyfriend doing at an employee gathering? Well, we thought that they should deepen their bonds too, so this is like killing two birds with one stone. I don't understand this at all. I didn't hear that this was an employee-only gathering. Is it really okay for an outsider like me to be here? Well, I don't really get it, but if you're here anyways, I'll introduce myself. I'm Shin, it's nice to meet you. Huh? He's actually pretty well-mannered! I'm Kent. I'm studying mathematics at Seichi University. Yes, I heard from my brother. Wait, does that mean an older or does he mean an older brother? Could he mean he's the younger brother of someone you know? I see. Elizabeth, who's his brother? Uh, don't ask us. Uh Toma? Why do you sound so uncertain? Uh, you got it right! Oh well, my brother's name Toma. He had a math lesson with you before. Ah, the lesson I gave at Miyogi University, where I was or where I was invited by Sawa and the others, although I hesitate to call that a lesson. Now I understand. I heard that most of the people uh, there were co-workers, but I see your brother was there as well. Yes, that's why I know about you. I'm giving them the same voice and I don't give a shit right now. <laughs> I also heard that Elizabeth disliked you, yet you managed to hold on and get her to go out with you. Oh boy. I won't get in your way. Go right ahead and deepen your bonds. See you later. I 
I see. So even someone as distant from me as Toma could tell that you liked or disliked me. Well, that's no surprise. Ooh, uh, I think he's feeling hurt now. But I think, or, but it looks like the others really did see you as not taking a liking to Kent. Oh my goodness, game. Uh, yes, it's the pool. This is the first time all summer. Well, it hasn't been ex or it hasn't exactly been good weather uh, for going to a pool. Oh wow, it's an indoor pool, but you can see the sky. This is so nice. What what are you thinking? Just what were or just what are you thinking wearing a bathing suit like that? It's almost like underwear. Didn't you know I would be coming? Do you understand how dangerous it is to show so much skin to a man you're dating? That's not to say it's okay to show it to other men either. Enough. Come with me. Huh? Kent, where are you going? I'm sorry to Sawa and the others, but I can't let you look like this in front of such a large number of men. If we do this, I won't see you either. I'll have to stay or I'll have you stay with me like this until it's time to leave. Well, if you want to be alone, I could let you do that too. But if a woman shows herself like this and she's alone, there'd definitely be people who'd have wicked thoughts. I think the best option would or would be for me to stay with you. Or maybe my sense of reason is growing dull. Aww, I want you to stay with me, Kent. I see. If that's what you want, then that's what we'll do. I'm sorry for dragging you away so forcefully. I'm sure you were surprised. Your shoulders are so small and your arms. I didn't think they were so thin. I suppose women are just built light and weak. I now see that I should treat you with more care. I apologize. I'll be more careful from now on. In the past, I wouldn't have apologized, and er, and you would have gotten angry with me, telling me not to treat a woman so roughly. Back when we started going out, I didn't think that we'd be able to maintain this relationship so peacefully. I thought we would fight and break up almost immediately, and I had half given up, but reality sure does have its unexpected developments. I really wonder why you changed so much. Do you not intend to tell me the reason? Did you prefer the past me? I prefer you now. No, that's wrong. Both are you. I think you changed, but deep down you're the same. Your attitude towards me simply became a little softer, and I welcome that change. When I asked you to go out with me, I only said vaguely that I think I like you. At that time, I even believed that those feelings might have simply been some sort of misunderstanding. All we did was argue, after all. I couldn't find any reason why I would have romantic feelings for you. But I have to admit now, these feelings can't be anything besides romantic emotions. When it comes to you, I lose my sense of reason. I want to have you all to myself. I want to see you all the time. Even if there's a chance of an argument, I want to hear your voice. I even provoke you childishly. This hasn't changed since then. Actually, now that we're able to speak so peacefully like this, my feelings are even more clear. It seems that I really am in love with you. I don't need to hear your answer yet. Although it's a little bit wasteful to just talk since we're at a pool, let's swim a little. Are you good at swimming? If you're in the water, you'll be able to avoid any wandering eyes. I know. How about we have a or have a contest to see who can swim the furthest. I'll give you as much of a handicap as you want. If I win, please don't just leave the water until I bring you a towel. Is that fair? Aww. It's so cute. Ha, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> was this really a gathering to deepen bonds? Elizabeth was off on her own the whole time, not like I care or anything. <laughs> now, now, it's rude to question her over such tiny details. Wait, even you look like you agree with her, Waka. Oh, see? You've gotten to know the manager's expressions, too. That's plenty of bonding, right, manager? 
Yay, it looks like the manager had fun too. I'm happy. Aren't you just interpreting him however you want? Is any of this even correct? Don't worry, you can tell just by looking. It looks like the couple off or it looks like the couple off on their own deep in their bonds too. Let's ask about it next time we see her at work. I look forward to that. All right, then I guess we're done. I'll walk you home. Uh, today was fun. Wait, what am I doing? It was only yesterday that I was freaking out about not being able to recover your memories quick or quickly enough. All I did today was smile while you were playing around with cats. I'm no good at all. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's the day. August 17th. But still, what can we do to seriously start reclaiming more memories? I think we've got most of the information we could out, or out of just living daily life over the last half a month. To be honest, I, or just relaxing and reading next to Kent like this won't give us any information. At this rate, yet another day will go by without any progress. Let's try organizing our thoughts and make a plan. In order to regain more information from now on, I think there are two routes we could take. One is to brave more or some danger and asking more assertive questions to the people around you. The other is to brave even more danger and tell Kent about your amnesia. Who, of course, if you're too afraid, we can just let things take their own course and stay on the defensive for now. So, how do you feel about this? What do you want to do? I want to admit everything. You sure are bold. Well, I'm sure he would be worried for you at the very least. And I'm sure he'd be a good ally. I also understand that it's painful to keep lying to him. The only problem is that Kent is extremely stubborn. In other words, it would only be okay to tell him if we know for sure that he wouldn't take you to a hospital. Hmm. Elizabeth. Why have you been staring at me like that? It's distracting. There's only a week left before the conference, but I'm not at all prepared yet. I don't have time to play around with you. If you tempt me like yesterday, I'll just end up leaving. What exactly is wrong with me? Even now, I'm taking your gaze the wrong way, and I can't help but look at you. If you think my misunderstandings are bothersome, tell me. That way I can concentrate on my work. Uh, what misunderstanding? I assume you can infer from my assumptions. Er, from that, my assumptions, correct? No, not really. How should I interpret your actions? Is it really a misunderstanding? Or are you really going to say that you were simply looking at me? Huh? Uh, does he think you were giving him a hot look or something? Uh -huh. I don't mind if you misunderstand. Wink, wink. Aww. In that case, if you are not opposed, huh? Would you not, or would you not mind if I kissed you? Wh what? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Wait, you're not going to refuse? Uh, uh, sorry, I gotta get going for now. Bye. So, it's really okay. Elizabeth, I like you so much. <gasps> Aww! Uh, sorry, I was nervous. <laughs> I keep showing, I keep showing you such a pathetic side of me. I'm starting to dislike myself. Yet you still accept me, even when I'm like this. In that case, I should have told you my feelings sooner. I've thought this every day. I'd be happy if you felt the same way for me, but I wonder if that's the case for you. Aww. Thank you, but it seems like it was a little early for us. This isn't the time to be thinking of such unnecessary things. 
If I don't concentrate, I won't make it in time for the conference. I'm sorry, but could you face the other way when you read? Try not to enter my field of view. Oh, this is no good! He's gone into full ignore mode! Oh, I understand that Kent is busy, but we need to gather as much information as possible, too! It might be best to leave Kent for a while and try gathering information from other people! Huh, another day is over. What should we do? We don't have much time. It looks like it's getting dark. I'll walk you home. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.